your coffee and get comfy, because the view is live. Battle in Bama. Trump stumps for Roy Moore. Obama backs Doug Jones in the Alabama Senate race. And Moore's wife takes on the media. Fake news would tell you that we don't care for Jews. Then, The Tonight Show's Jimmy Fallon's cracking up the ladies. <laughs> Plus, this is what I want to do. Whoopi's taking you along when she runs off to join the circus. And want in on The View's 10 grand holiday giveaway? Then don't miss a second of today's show. Let's go! Here come Hot Topics with Whoopi, Sarah Haynes, Joy Behar, Sonny Hostin, and Megan McCain. Now, let's get things started. Alabama is on. The polls are open for voters to decide who their new senator will be. Obama's been robocalling for Doug Jones. The guy in the White House is back in Roy Moore. And Moore's wife, Kayla, <laughs> took to the stage to help her husband get votes. Check it out. Fake news would tell you that we don't care for Jews. I tell you all this because I've seen it all, so I just want to set the record straight while they're here. One of our attorneys is a Jew. <laughs> I like that she goes, he's a Jew. I have, a Jew. I yeah. have a black friend in case we're counting. <laughs> like, yeah. says that? That? Well, they say that they have, she said they also have black friends. And I'd like to know which of the black friends agrees with his position that slavery should never have been abolished. Oh, wow. Which of those black friends agree with that, do you think? No, no when he, that, that quote, though, goes on to say he does not say that slavery should not. It, in that context, it looks awful. I read the whole thing. Well, wasn't it one of the amendments that he wanted to get rid of? Well, that's different. You're that's right. So you win, Joy. Yeah. 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 I Thank can't you. argue with that. You can do that. <laughs> 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 what, I don't, what I don't understand is, you know, I don't think the choice is equal. I know people are saying, well, there are terrible candidates on both sides. So you either vote for the alleged child molester or you vote for the guy who put KKK members who killed four young girls in a church in jail. Like, well, like there, there's no... Can I interject into yeah. this really quick? Yeah. You've said this before. So I was talking last night with my sister-in-law who's here. I'm going to give a shout out in a second. She's lovely. I know and her. Thank you. Right here, Emily. Thank you. Um, and my husband last night about this race, and I brought up what you were saying, and yeah. we were talking about how if Democrats had put someone up like Tim Pawlenty or someone who is a little more moderate, a little more pro-life, this would be a slam but dunk a for Democrats. Moderate. He's actually not moderate. in a lot of ways, at least it's from the perspective the of Republicans right? like, like me. And I would say if you put someone up like Tim Pawlenty, you would be, this would be a great day for Democrats. So I do think we have this argument that, Dem that Republicans Republicans need to moderate. And by the way, Roy, the, the wife speaking there about the Jew is a South Park caricature of what liberals think Republicans are. And it's exhausting <laughs> and embarrassing for me to sit here and have to anyway even talk about something like we this. We don't think Republicans but, talk like that. No, thank you. We don't. Well, some, don't some, some, people, well, some, some people. Some people. If you don't want to vote for Doug Jones, who, who again, I really think is quite moderate and who is tough on crime and spent his life putting bad guys in jail. Well, I'm just trying but, to... Would you not then... I mean, history is watching... Mm -hmm. Don't be on the wrong side of history. Then write a candidate in. Then do something else. But do you vote to put the alleged child molester in the Senate? Can I say, wait, can I say Senate? something while, while we're getting all again? Because, again, I'm just trying to explain it. And I think from the Republicans' perspective, had you put someone a little more moderate, slam dunk. But I do want to show this clip that's going viral right now of this father, Nathan Mattis, that's, I think, incredibly powerful. This is something people need to stop and think about. You're supposed to uphold a constitution. Constitution said all men are created equal. 
Well, how's my daughter a prevert just because she was gay? He said, all gay people are preverts, abominations. That's not true. We don't need a person like that representing us in Washington. Southern voters, they're nuanced, and that clip's really powerful, and it's making its way across the internet well, right now. Well, it builds on other reasons, because I already mm -hmm. didn't like Roy Moore for other reasons, but one thing that kind of, in my mind, disqualifies him way before any of these accusations came out mm -hmm. um, was he was relieved of duty twice. twice. Yeah. The only reason he can run for Senate right now is his, his uh, tenure was cut short mm -hmm. because he was forced to leave. This was a judge, someone that's supposed to be enforcing the law that decided to only enforce laws he agreed on. And now we're saying he's eligible to be voted into one of our branches of government. We're a country based on a constitution. We are a land of laws. You cannot have someone that's representing any state in this country that decides which laws he wants to obey. Well, how about the fact when he was a district attorney sworn to enforce the laws, he was allegedly trolling for 14-year-old girls in the courthouse. But I'm saying if you, can, if you can look up past that, which I cannot, but I mean, I'm saying yeah. this is just one part that when my husband, who is a lawyer, and I were talking, he gets really worked up. He said before any of this comes out, yeah. you're looking at a man that could not do his job, twice relieved, mm -hmm. because he was charged with all of that. And that of alone should be so something everyone So not why, is, why is he still possibly going to win? Well, I think because it's not illegal what he did. I just don't know how people can look at him and say, you know, you as a judge could not enforce laws because you did, you chose you not you to agree us. with them. You you know, like, well, know. We've been well, talking about this for weeks yeah. and weeks. I think people are one issue voters. And I think, as you said, it's very tribal right now. And it's very, there's a lot of people, I think it's 70% of women in Alabama don't believe the women accusing them. And listen, mm -hmm. one thing I will say for Democrats is if he wins, you guys get to play this over and over and over That's again. Yeah, but nobody wants to. It's, That's yeah, the problem. Nobody wants to play this over and over. Yeah. Again, you know, and and I think it's not about who we could have put up. I think it's about who's there, who's there. This man is sitting there, and we're putting folks, we're knocking folks out left and right. People are losing their jobs mm -hmm. for sexual harassment mm -hmm. allegations. Yeah. So I think that this is really important. And Doug Jones said something last night that I thought was. Real, I, I was glad to hear. He said, you know, we have to say for our daughters and granddaughters and wives and mothers, this is an, it's enough. It's enough. When is it enough? And I have to say, Alabama voters, you make up your mind, but you have to answer to your daughters. You have to answer to your granddaughters and your daughters and explain why getting a policy through is more important than covering you. Because that's what this is. There are a lot of Republicans. Tim Pawlenty came out this morning, Condoleezza Rice, Mitt yeah, Romney. There's a lot, a lot of Republicans, Republicans coming yeah. out right. saying that they couldn't vote for this person. And again, it's disgusting and it's difficult. And we as Republicans, this will be a stain that will live with us going far, beyond just elections, as you just said, yeah. talking about the moral compass within the party. It's kind of crazy. It's a crazy thing. You know, uh, former Vice President Joe Biden also supported Doug Jones, and we're going to talk to him about the election results tomorrow when he's here live, <laughs> That's which so is great. Exciting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's it fabulous. And the book is extraordinary. Yes. I listened to him read and it's great. It's wonderful. You know, and if, if nothing else, this is giving you plenty of material yeah, joy yeah, because yeah. you have a gig Saturday night. Yes, I have a gig. Can you believe it? I have a gig. because yeah. I, I don't want to be talking to myself on stage. So <laughs> this Saturday, December 16th at 8 o'clock, I'll be in Boca Raton, Florida. The show is at the Florida Atlanta University's uh, Carol and Barry Kay Performing Arts Auditorium. And check out my Twitter account for tico inf ticket information. Yes. I'll pull the theater again. Yeah. She's headed yeah. to Boca. I know. I know. <laughs> She's well, still getting nervous. You know what? Ask Whoopi. Yeah. Stand up is a singular thing. Admit, you're, the only, you're naked and everybody else is dressed. That's it's how yeah, it's yeah. 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 And you know, you don't know know ever what you're walking into and yeah. people assume that they know what you're going to do so yeah. it's it's joy funny there's just no Very way around funny. that she's really funny she's funny <laughs> you know and she, well i mean you know there are a lot of folks who are on the road who i don't think are funny uh, yeah. that's you know but i'm i'm 
We've worked together. It, we've worked together. And she makes me laugh. Not a lot of people can. But it, it's a great thing because it's not just about <laughs> politics. It's about life. She and that's a again. great thing. See, Whoopi, I make Whoopi laugh. But does she hit me every she time She can't reach you, that? Joy. You are hitting me all the time. I'm a physical laugher. I'm going to move myself this way and say we'll be right back with more hot topics while they work it out. Still ahead, Batali's bad appetite. The sexual misconduct allegations that pulled Mario Batali off the air and out of the kitchen. This week, Christmas comes early to the view. It's Christmas! I love Christmas. Don't you love Christmas? Yeah, Joy, and we love a fiery political view, too. Especially when Joe Biden hits the table. And you know Joe's always got something to say. But that's not all. Gwendolyn Christie and Nick Jonas. Plus, we've got a holiday treat that'll make you stand up and sing. Baby, please come home. It's a very merry view. This week on ABC. Still ahead, Jimmy Fallon. Whoopies join in the circus. I hope I'm not interrupting. <laughs> and heads up, home viewers, because we're giving away 10 grand. So stay tuned in to get in on it. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand is calling for you-know-who to resign over numerous sexual harassment allegations. And he just responded with a tweet claiming she would come to his office begging for campaign contributions not so long ago and would do anything for them. Wow. Whoa. Wow. What is that it, impl implying, may I ask? Do I'm anything sorry. for what, them. What, what do you think? Is it, is it sexual favors? What well, is he saying? Do you think well, the language is just is a little it? loaded, it's, it, and it's ironic in a sexual harassment conversation to, exactly. to use Talk that. About it. I think it's disgusting. I mean, if my 15-year-old tweeted that out about one of his classmates, his phone would be snatched, he'd be in so much trouble yeah. at home, and we've got the United States president doing that. I'm like, it's so, it's so beneath the dignity of the office. It's so infantile. I'm like, what? Nothing changes what is the fact going on? that 16 women have accused him of sexual harassment. And these yes. women are talking, they're going to court, and we'll see what happens. But what yeah. he also recognizes, she, she, called, she was one of the first ones to call for Al Franken's resignation. Uh, sexual harassment is a big issue for her. Yes. And so I think she's friend. kind of like, in order to have efficacy, we have to do it for everyone. And that, yeah. that's a... Fair well, she's point. calling yeah. for Trump to resign. They're also calling for a congressional investigation, I think. And, and I wonder, will that happen, the congressional well, I investigation? So. I, I hope congressional uh, investigations <laughs> happen. If Roy Moore gets in, I hope the Congress investigates him, too. Because ethics is important. I think it's important. And I think it's important across the board for yeah. everybody. Kristen, I, you know. Kristen Gillibrand is a face in the Democratic Party, and you can't deny that and yeah. we were talking about right. off camera we were, that is, yeah. is she going to be someone that could possibly lead a ticket in 2020 and i think i keep thinking of your sweater Sorry. that you wore that the future is female one way or the other on both sides i think people are really frustrated with women not being in power in the way that men are and there's this cultural moment right now and if she's smart she should take this tweet fundraise off of it use it yeah, in order to right. showcase and i hope that Again, President Trump and his tweets yesterday, I got home and I turned on the news and it was all Trump's tweets and the fight between Sarah Huckabee Sanders and the press. And I was like, there was a terror attack exactly. in New York yeah. today. Yeah. 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 Why are you talking about this? It's disgusting. Well, it's, you know, but it's, because it's, it's a lot of, you know, it's the smoke and mirrors thing. Look over here, you won't see what's happening over there. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's really, it's hard and it's hard to justify to people that we are letting folks go left and right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and not him. And <laughs> at the top, sitting there, is this... ...person who has 
allegations that we are kicking everybody else's ass about. Yeah. yeah. We have to do it. We have to do it to everybody or we do it to nobody. But according to what I understand, the House of Representatives has to impeach him. The Republican Party has to impeach well, first, him. And that's first as long as in your court. First, let, but first you... let's get the let's get the ethics committee on it first. Let's start yeah. with that. Right. And and then we'll go wherever it needs to go. But you know what I have to do. You know I have you to go, go. You right can... now. <laughs> We'll be right back. You can still get in on one-stop holiday shopping on View Your Deal. We partner with vendors for up to 77% off gifts for everyone on your list. So get to ViewYourDeal.com now. So, I hear some of y'all at the table saw the new Star Wars yeah. last night. Sonny and I did, and my sister-in-law Emily yeah. was here, and it I was loved it. We both loved it. Loved it. Was it. I just want to show really quickly. My niece Reagan dressed up like Ray for Halloween, oh. and is so excited and so what jealous that we saw it last oh. night. There she is. It and Look she's at, such an amazing, strong uh, female character for yeah, little girl. Yeah, it's about empowerment and the force, and you got to see all your favorites <laughs> back in. I mean, my heart was like, Sunny brought her a lightsaber. I loved it. I would have dressed up. I would have dressed up. I loved it. Okay. I would have dressed up. Yes. You know I love sci-fi, Whoopi. We have that in common. Yes, we do. Yeah. But yeah. I was on Broadway last night. So I, know, I know. I know. No, no, no. I did uh, Damn Yankees last night. Yeah, I was it was great. Yeah, you, it was I great. It was Star great. Wars. But you know, I, my friends sometimes come and they they do think. Did anybody hear that? Was you because you know the lady said that they saw the film last night. Well, did you see them? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Were you excited? <laughs> really? And he said you look good. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. Now, Vivi, I um, I hear that uh, you brought us something. I don't know, kind of special. So I tell everybody what it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, BB-8 just brought us a new hope, courtesy of our friends at IMAX. Everyone in our audience is getting two tickets to see Star Wars: The Last Jedi in IMAX. <laughs> Last Jedi starts nationwide this Friday, December fifteenth. Thanks to BB-8. Thank you, BB. It's always a pleasure to see you. Say what? Oh, Joy, he said he wants a number. He lost yours from the last time he was here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, and you owe him a lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> well, who who you you it? It? I did not know. <laughs> so are you excited that our whole audience is going to get to go? <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, baby. Can I have a little sugar? Give me a little sugar. Give me a little kiss. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. <laughs> We'll be right back. Hey guys, it's your TV pal, Jimmy Fallon. I'm coming up on The View, so get on your, your Twitters, your Instas, and uh, start talking about it, your socials. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get the girls to play a game. Should be fun, come on back. Much needed laughter right now. He's also written a new best selling children's book, Everything is Mama. Please welcome the fabulous and wonderful Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. Nice 
Here's the love. You know, you haven't been here in a while. I think the last time you were here, you were already married, and now you and your wife, Nancy, have two beautiful little Aww. girls, Winnie yeah, we, and Franny. <laughs> that's Winnie. That's those oh, friends. Oh, yeah. We, we had these hats. We made these hats for Thanksgiving this year that are just berets, but if you put felt around it and a little pom pom, looks like a pumpkin pie. <laughs> so, and everyone was wearing these pie hats. They're the best things that ever happened to me. It's the cutest thing. They I'm are just, so cute. Uh, thank you. I'm very, yeah. very lucky. first words were not dad that, were they? Thank you. No. Did Jimmy wrote a full book, and it's Alex's favorite book about right. Dada. To, yeah. And yeah, yeah. was your motivation to get your kids to say Dada? I would secretly <laughs> sneak it into conversation because I don't care if the kid's smart. You know, right. I just want the kid to say Dada first, and then it's not say that. I just said, Oh no, you want your you know, instead of a bottle, you want your Dada? Uh, you know, like, I just want to trick the kid. Just make your first word they'll write in the history books, and that's it. Uh -huh. uh, and then of course, the, for our first baby said Mama. So then I wrote a book that said, you know, everything was Dada in there, and now I wrote. Mama, so that everyone could say, yeah. Mama, because everything is, everything is mama. everything, trust me, yeah. everything is Mama, even if you get them to say Dada. That's right. Everything. Say, when you start with a book called Dada, you yeah. better follow up with a sequel, <laughs> oh, yeah. Mama. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's right. I've yeah. got them girls in my house. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm not numbered yet. So <laughs> this, which you just said, your first children's book was your baby's first word will be Dada. Yeah. And yeah, we, we just had this whole conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way it works. Yeah. When did you realize the truth of all of this? this that is, baby this was going to say what baby was going to say. The baby's going to say what baby's going to say. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I try to make this little sappy at the end because I, I do read to my kids. Yes. And they have some books out there that are sad. Do you know, the, do you know yeah. you, this yeah. is how much I love you or I love you Some more? Some of them are guilt trips, like the giving tray. No, I don't even want, they're not allowed in my house. They yeah. are so, they're too sad. What's yeah. the one where the kid has to carry his mom up the stairs? Yeah, 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 it's too much. And it's the kids lock no. and load. Yeah. You have to do it 99 well, times. I go to my wife, are you going to warn me if you're going to get these sad books? And I'm yeah. reading to the kid, I'm like, and then we made a, a wish, and you're the wish, you're a wish, you're the wish that came true. You're the, and she's like, are you having a stroke? And I'm like, no, no, no. Are you smelling burnt toast? Uh, well, you know. You're doing a live reading of your book on Facebook and Instagram tomorrow. Yeah. Tell everybody how that works and what you're doing. I'm doing the same because I figure, why not, I don't know why no one's doing the same, but I'm going to read to your kids tomorrow morning at 9.15. Uh, if you have Instagram, uh, go to at Jimmy Con. If you have yeah. Facebook, go to at Fallon Tonight. And then uh, it's free. It's free if you have a phone, which a lot of people have phones, but uh, librarians, <laughs> uh, teachers, parents, anyone who wants me to read. I'll read to adults. I don't care. Wow. I'll, read, I'll read to your bus driver. Right? Yeah. They, they can't read while they're read. driving. But uh, I'm yeah. going to read. It'll be 10 minutes of family fun, and I just want to read the book so the kids know that reading's cool and it's fun. And, uh, and, and it's just, I think it's going to be a, a fun thing for me. I, I'll feel it's good. Exciting. Yeah. It's exciting. It's exciting. I love it. It's, I love doing it. You were also recently in People's Magazine, um, Sexiest Man Alive issue, but well, you, you brought a plus one. Really? No, Who no, I think exactly. might have been no, what won the award. Yeah, I think this is the only way I'm going to get into those magazines. <laughs> As if I bring my dog. As if I bring my dog. That's the only way I'm going to get into sexiest uh, people magazine. But I have a very good looking dog. Uh, that's yeah. little, that's Gary. Gary. That's yeah. another girl. I have all, nothing but women in my house. Girl that's all I have. You're lucky. I, I'm very lucky. You're lucky. Absolutely. Wow. Uh, but Gary is such a good dog. She's an uh, English cream uh, golden retriever. And man, the babies grab the dog and they pull the I eyes. Know. Yeah. You pull on the tail, and the yeah. dog's like, that's my job. They know. Oh, uh, yeah, know. that's what I do, and it's the greatest you know, thing. Jimmy, uh, we love your impressions. <laughs> Thank you. We do. You're the best. <laughs> Thank you, And Val. so we, uh, you, one of the ones you do is uh, Bruce Springsteen. Yes, I just did Bruce Springsteen. You did. Uh, which, by the way, I saw his show on Broadway. How it's it? phenomenal. Brilliant. I, I'm waiting to see oh, it. Oh, really? I have cannot tickets? wait. I'm not seeing it Very hard oh. to get tickets. It's, so you did use it. extended. It yeah. is magnificent. It's a great show. He's yeah. great. He's my all-time favorite. Yeah. He is. Yeah. He should be president. Yeah. I mean, so, we'll just go for yeah. that. Try. You know, the thing, when I do impressions of, of these people, he's in such good shape. Yeah. Spring scene. Yeah. So I had to do like a hundred push-ups in my dressing room before, because his arms are really, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. and I couldn't get any definition at all. I'm like smacking my arms, I'm like, come on, wake up, dude, give me some. I can't walk out like flabby Bruce yeah. Springsteen. I'm like doing every skinny exercise. Fat. You got a skinny yeah. fat I mean, arm. I had Bruce on the show. We did Bruce with Bruce, and we we're both dressed as him from the 80s. And he caught me. I was in my dressing room doing push-ups. He was like, hey, you, you cheating? Come on, get out of here. And we both stand, we both do a push-up, and we try to do it. And I was like, I was like, but now. Now I can't move my arms. Yeah. Now I can't move my arms thanks to Bruce Springsteen. So all my interviews are like, so tell me about your movie. Like, what's happening? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, DB8. Here you are. DB8, ladies and gentlemen. Are we showing a clip of that? Let's oh, show the clip. Yeah. I want to see it. You can see it. Well, you better watch.
Of course, I, my vision's gotten not as good as it used to be. I thought it was Bruce because of the muscles. Oh, hey, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I, 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 I did. Thank you. Thank you. I owe you one. At thank you, pal. At first, I said, yeah. oh, it's Bruce. And then you I, better oh. watch. And then I did it in rehearsal, too. I almost had no voice for the show. I don't know how he keeps that yeah. voice. You know what's funny? Uh, yeah. We both know Gilbert Godfrey. You know yeah. Gilbert oh, Godfrey. Yeah. I, that was my first impression I ever did on Saturday Night Live. And it was a sketch. It was Hollywood Square. Someone actually played you. Right. And uh, what happened was it was an earthquake, and it all crumbled, but they kept playing the game. <laughs> so it was blood everywhere. <laughs> and celebrities there. And I was Gilbert Godfrey, uh -huh. and I was going, I'm holding my entire intestinal tract in my own hands, and that's not good. What is this game? X to block. <laughs> and I did this bit. And I met Gilbert later, and he goes, I saw that thing, and I go, when did I do that? <laughs> he, he thought yeah, that he actually he played that, done it, yeah. that sketch, and it was like, that's a compliment right there, you know? Speaking uh, of no. games, because yeah. you play hilarious games on your show, okay. there's one called the Whisper Challenge. I'm going to make you do you this. You brought it here for us. Okay. Here's what you do. Uh, I'll explain it really quickly. Yeah, you can you play do. this at home. They do this on the internet, too. But you get noise-canceling headphones, and you play them really loud, and then you try to have your partner guess the phrase you're saying, okay? So what do you press? The middle so button? You, well, you, uh, you'll press play when, when it's your turn to go. Not oh. yet, Joy. This okay, is I'll we, watch something. We'll, we'll, we'll go first. All right. We'll go first. This okay, is press too play. Confusing. Make sure it's loud. Yeah, you drew the short it's on. This will be on right there, right? Ready? I know. It should be on. Is it loud? Not loud enough. Okay, here you go. Is this... <laughs> Is that loud? That's great. Yeah, oh yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's great. Okay, uh. You have right. a card right here by you. Right Yours here, okay. right here. here. All right, now I'm gonna. Right. Ready? So I'm looking at you to you're... see what you're saying. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you don't have to overpronounce everything, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, yes. All right, here we go. Here's the words. All right, ready? All right, this, it's a holiday theme. Here we go. All I want for Christmas. All I want for Christmas. Oh, oh, what? Yeah. The she can hear you. That was the best ever. You, you got it. Hear That's it. You got it. You heard it. Uh, you heard it when you read the list. Right. Right. That was it. You got it. That okay. was it. I see. Yeah. She knows how to read lips. Oh, you know how how to read lips. Oh, I should have mumbled more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, Joy, she knows get how to do read this, lips. Uh, this is what I'm most excited about. Getting you to do this. This is so funny. Because you hate this, right? I hate this. You hate these games. I know you hate this. All right, ready? Press it. Oh, no, stop, no, stop, George, stop it. Stop, it's, that's ridiculous. It's, too loud. it's not that loud. Uh, it's know, not that loud. It I'm, has to be loud. I'm half blind, and now I'll be half deaf. No, from no, that's, well, let's just finish it off. Let's just finish it off. Here we go. George, oh, just get right. it lower. All right, please, say please. Come on. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. All right, okay? ready? Say it. Oh, my God, look how fun. <laughs> <laughs> say it again. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> I'm Amish. <laughs> I'm Amish. Yes, judges, can we accept I'm Amish? Uh, okay. What can accept I'm Amish? All right. All right, Whoopi, let me go. You're let me go. Jewish. Right. I'm Amish. Yeah, that's not bad. It's a good. Okay. Give me the mug. All right, here we go. All right. Give me the mug. Oh, no, okay, Sarah, here we go. Whoopi, do, do you have a line? I don't know. Read to me. You're, you're sitting on it. It's under your butt. That makes it harder Whoa. for me to guess. So loud. So um, loud. Do we not have one? Oh, no, well, I just made something else. All right, I'll give me yeah. a holiday phrase. Okay. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh, it and... has to be a holiday oh. phrase? Yeah, it's really loud. <laughs> Where's nature? <laughs> keep going, keep going. What? <laughs> Where is... Where is... Where is the thing? <laughs> The Anderson. Where's Anderson? <laughs> ass. Where's the ass? <laughs> Angle. Where's the uh, Angle? Uh, that... Yamaka. I have no idea. Where's it. the Yamaka? I have no idea. What was it? Where's the eggnog? Whoa, my oh. gosh. Where's the eggnog? Sorry. Sorry, I apologize. I didn't know if I said words right. I can't say. No, uh, you didn't. You were good. What? <laughs> Oh, Joy, Joy, give a, give a phrase, a holiday phrase. A holiday phrase? Yeah, a holiday uh, phrase. Um, 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 uh, okay. You ready? Yeah. Eat. No, you can say that loud. How? Did you Did say... It? 
Happy Kwanzaa. Have a good Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa. That, that, that's it. You got it. Oh, happy Kwanzaa. No. I said happy Kwanzaa. How did you get that? So good. How did you and get I that? Didn't, I didn't even you, say the you word. You guys are good. Yeah. You did not. It, 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 I did not. You're no. so good. I know Terry can take these officers. Oh, Jimmy Fallon. You have to like come it. back anytime you want to. You come back we anytime love you, we you love, 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 love you so you. much, guys. And thank you for having Thanks to Jimmy Fallon. Team Jimmy every week next on The Tonight Show. Everything is Mama is available right now. Be sure to catch his live reading tomorrow at 9.15 a.m. and 12.15 p.m. Eastern on both Facebook and Instagram. Members of our studio audience are going home with a copy. ringmaster of The View. She's taking us along when she takes over the circus next. Woo! To see if I could be in the ring. So I took my great granddaughter, Charlie, to see it and was so blown away that I begged to be the ringmaster. So check out what happens at the Big Apple Circus. Look this. Is the Big Apple Circus. I want to see how you walk around as the You ain't, ain't going to be able to do what I do. Now. I'll bet you I can't try. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Of all children, of all ages. children of all ages. <laughs> you got it. What did I do? You can, you can, I hope I'm not interrupting. <laughs> uh, Whoopi, I'd like for you to meet I'm not Grandma. I'm not stage you or anything, Ty, but <laughs> it's all good. Oh, Grandma. Well, I know that you do a whole thing where you're flying on the wire. And I kind of looked at that and thought, well, maybe I'd like to try that. It's the most fun thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sugar. Ooh, 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 ooh. What we're going to attempt now is the art of water spitting. <laughs> wow. That's Nick Melinda. This is what I want to do. Hey, hey how you Nick? doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing great. Tell me about the tightrope. It's in my blood, so my family's done this for over 200 years. I'd like you to try it, though. Oh, I'd love to try. Very good. Well, you're doing good. <laughs> oh, excellent. That was a clincher. Come on out, guys. Good boys. Good boys. Beautiful. Here we go. Here we go. Good job, guys. Good job. Here we go. Yay. Did you see that? I think she's in awe. audience members, thanks to the Big Apple Circus, you're all going home with a family four-pack of tickets. <laughs> this is the folks. one lucky studio audience member who is about to win $5,000. But first, I want to get to some expert advice for
from Retail Me Not's shopping and trends expert, Sarah Skirball, who's in the audience. Sarah, all of us are looking for it. How do we save money at the holidays? We are in the thick of the holiday shopping season, and whether or not you're at the beginning, you're in the middle, or the very tail end, make sure you are saving money with Retail Me Not. Go to RetailMeNot.com, make sure you have the free app downloaded, and you can save up to 70% off on all of your holiday oh, shopping needs. Plus, even more good news, Retail Me Not just launched a brand new free Chrome browser extension called Genie, which automatically applies coupons and cashback offers immediately at checkout, saving you even more time and even more money. She always brings us good news. Okay, so let's give away some cash. The wind booth is full of audience seat members, and Santa has 10 seconds to pick a winner, so let's start. Ready, Santa? Ready. Yeah. Oh my god. tonight to find out how to enter for the chance to win. So we have one more person winning. What's your name? Nolene Daniel. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Yeah! yeah. Well, congratulations and happy Hanukkah, folks, which begins tonight. Mm -hmm. We thank you all for coming. We thank you all for watching and we want you to have a great day and take a little time to enjoy the view. <laughs> When the day comes that